Hi guys, today I will introduce you to this Ryobi two-stroke petrol chainsaw. It's 50cc with 20 inch bar. We start with unpacking, putting oil and fuel in it and start using it later. Okay, so this is how it comes with, with a Coke. I'm just kidding, I'll put it here myself. Okay, so it comes with a chain and bar oil and a two cycle oil which we need to mix it one part of oil to 50 part of unleaded petrol. I've gone ahead and mix it, that was 75 ml, so I've mixed it with 3.75 litre of, liter of petrol. In this barrel, we give it a nice mix and Okay, that's a mixed fuel cap and that's a lubricant cap. I'll turn it on that position so it'll be easy to fill it up. Uh, just use the funnel that you don't make a mess and if you don't have a funnel just cut a bottle of water, that's it. Put them here. After topping up fuel and lubricant oil, the next step is to tensioning the chain. Okay, the first thing, uh, we need to make sure that the brake is disengaged. In order to do that, we just pull it back. I guess it updates for now. It comes also with this tool here. Take off this scab on. We loosen these two now first. Should have finger loose. It's very easy. Okay. Okay, once we loosen these two, then we use the other side of your tool. It's like a screwdriver. And we turn this knob here, clockway, to tighten your chain. At the moment, you can see the gap is a lot. We need three to four millimeter gap between the chain and the bar. So as you turn it, obviously your chainsaw is off. You haven't operated yet. So as you turn it, you just check the tension if uh, it's come to the level that you need it. Preferably try the bottom side more again okay. 
I would say that's enough. So later we can adjust it more again if we need it. Okay, so we're happy with the uh, level of tension. We have to tighten these two knobs back and we just go clockway about 180 degree, not much. Yeah. That's it. All right, we topped up the fuel, chain is tightened. Next, we're gonna start the chainsaw. We make sure the brake is on. In order to do that, we just push it forward until it clicks. Priming it. Uh, we prime it at least 10 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, we pull this choke all the way back. I'll do the rest on the floor, it'll be safer and easier to do. Alright, put your feet here. Then we uh, pull the handle no more than five times. Put the choke halfway. Okay, it sounds like it's turning on. Uh, I'll put the choke back. Let it sit for about 30 seconds, then we can operate. To cut this, uh, this is about uh, four to five inch red gum. It was very easy to cut it. I'll put uh, another log. It's slightly bigger. Let's say six inch. See how it goes with that. I wasn't putting any pressure on the chainsaw, so that's the, the saw weight itself that is cutting through. Uh, next time we will try to cut something bigger, maybe a an actual tree or a fallen log. Once you finish, uh, make sure you lose your chain, otherwise it will stretch permanently as it cools. 
and to do that we just undo the knobs we loosen them You can also clean it, but just make sure it's not hot, otherwise you'll burn your hands. Okay. It looks clean already. You can use a brush or a cloth. back and tighten the bolts. So far I'm happy with the purchase that I've done but that was only one day of work. I will try to upload more videos in the future if I cut a bigger tree or logs. Uh, Please in the comment if you have any question, type it in and if there is something you think I can improve. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe.